Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. I thought I'd come on with a bit of a play, um, with a bit of a review on this fountain pen from Daiso. I bought this when I was in Melbourne um, last week at a craft show. We went out to Daiso. I don't actually have Daiso in my local town. Um, the closest, sorry about that, the closest one is um, back to our driveway. So every time I go to Melbourne, which I haven't been down there since. December, which is terrible. You should go down every couple of months. But they didn't seem to have much more stuff. Like, I only really shop in the sort of the craft, the stationery. I did get some pots for the garden because um, I had cheap pots, like um, rectangle window pots. Um, so I got some of those because they were only $2.80 as opposed to $10 at Bunnings. Um, I don't do any of their makeup or any of their food or anything like that. So I haven't used the fountain pen before so I thought let's give it a go for $2.80. Now I'm wondering if this is a spare cartridge or whether I have to put one in so I've just taken the protective tip off which I will keep because that will stop it from getting... actually no I probably don't need that when I've got the pen. Okay I don't need that bit. I haven't used a fountain pen since I was at school. I was made right with one in year seven because my writing was so small and disgusting and messy that the teacher made me, which way do we put this in? I'm assuming it's this way. Um, do they have destructions on the packet? Not that I look at them, and they're probably all in Japanese. Anyway, I'm assuming you put it in this way. Because that looks like it's got a ball. That looks like it's got a ball. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. Sorry for the shadowing. Looks like it's got a ball bearing in there, and that might um, help the flow of ink. So I'm assuming we squish this onto here. Oi! I think we've done that right. And put this back on. So I'm just working on, and I don't know whether this is the right paper, but we'll see how it goes. This is a sketchbook I also picked up in Melbourne, which I've got to show in my haul video. Um, I was going to have a go with this in the motel room, but I didn't. Saturday night, I bought this Friday night, and Saturday night I was so tired, I basically went to bed. So this is 110 cartridge paper. So it says for sketching, heavyweight backing. So this was down to $4. It was $8 at the newsagent. So I thought we'll give it a go. It's a nice smooth paper. So I thought I'll give this a go to see if this works. Now I don't know whether you... I'm also interesting to find out if this is waterproof. So I'm wondering... Well, that ball sounds like it's running around now. So I'm wondering if we, how long we prime this for. So I'm assuming ink has to work its way down into there. I'll get a big blob out in a minute. Come on. Come on, Inky Inky. I'm assuming I've done that correctly. We might just tighten that up a bit. I have not used a fountain pen, as I said, since I was in year seven at school. So I don't know how to get it started. You're all probably yelling at me, telling me to do something. Here's the advantage of a live stream. That's what I want to do. By the next year, mm -hmm, I want to be able to do live streams. Everyone's doing it. And I want to be one of the cool kids doing live streams. Because then I could ask you what I'm doing wrong and you could tell me because you're all probably shouting at it. I have to do something to it. I'm assuming I see black in that little tip bit there. Maybe I'll put the lid on and give it a good shake because I really don't want to shake ink around everywhere. Because it sounds like that ball bearing I saw has gone up into the the chamber of ink which is like this and like mixing it around so I'll give it a bit of a shake do, 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 do. talk among yourselves the show was very successful, it was lots of fun it was busy, I basically demonstrated for three days and I forgot to get footage, I'm a bad bad blogger and bad, bad YouTuber um, but I'm not getting ink into here, why? So I'm just trying to see if there's any ink coming into the well. Do, 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 
Do you love my drawing so far? It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Oh, excited! Oh! Sorry. <laughs> oh, I got excited! <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. I don't even know the correct way to hold a fountain pen. I'm assuming you hold it like a normal pen. And it'd be interesting to see if this is waterproof or or it runs when we do it. So I'm going to just turn this into a flower because I did a bit of a whoopsie doodle. So the ink's certainly flowing. How do I do that from that direction? I suppose I'll start up here. I don't know why I wanted a fountain pen. I just did. I suppose to do some sketching on my layouts and my mixed media and just to play with really. I see Courtney Diaz, um, I don't know whether she does a lot with fountain pen but she does use a lot of the ink and I may track down some permanent ink, some document ink I think she calls it, um, if I really like this and I don't know whether you'd be able to refill those little things, maybe if I like it I'll buy a better quality pen. But this one seems to be, now we've got the ink down, it seems to be drawing really quickly. It's certainly got a nice flow. I haven't got any big splotches yet. I'll say that and I'll get a big splotch. Let's just thicken up, see if we can thicken up this line a bit. So this is 0 0.5, so I didn't pay attention to see whether there are any other tip sizes, which would have been interesting. Next time I go to Daiso will probably be in the September school holidays, maybe, depending on when my daughter and I go down to Melbourne. Um, the problem is, if I take my daughter with me, we end up spending way too much money, because she loves Daiso too. Oh, that was just a lid that fell off. So I'm going to do a test in a minute to see if this is waterproof. And I excuse my drawing ability. I suppose it's not a bad flower. It is a bit cockeyed. I like some of the brush pens I have at Daiso, and they had a reusable, fillable brush pen, which I was going to get as well, but I was trying to be good. We sort of went out Friday night, the first night of the show, and the first day of the show was a bit quiet, and I'm thinking, oh God, if it's this quiet at the show, I won't have any spending money, so I was a bit restra restrained, and then... We got busy the Saturday and the Sunday because the show ran for three days and then the shops were shut. Oh well. So you can just hold it like a normal pen. Let's do something over here that we can see if it will run. What am I going to do? I'll do a leaf again because we've got the leaves and the things happening. Obviously it's going to run if it's wet, so let's just do a bit of drawing here. And if there's a proper way to hold a fountain pen, I wonder if this is... Oh, that's dried fairly quickly. Oh, it's almost instantly drying, which is really cool because it is a thin layer of ink. There is a special way to hold a fountain pen, let me know. As I said, I haven't really used a fountain pen since I was in Year 7, which sounds really weird to give a Year 7 person a fountain pen. But coming out of primary school, my writing was so small and shocking, the teacher thought if she got me to write in a fountain pen, my writing would be bigger and neater. Boy, was she wrong. I still wrote really small with a fountain pen. She still couldn't understand it. <laughs> I was a bit of a rebel in high school. I think high school was a waste of my time. Especially year 7, 8, 9. By about a year 12, when I got to choose my own subjects, I was a bit more behaved, but... Oh. When I had to do the compulsory subjects, I was not. This is becoming a story of my life, isn't it? No, we don't need to hear about my antics in high school. I was a good girl, maybe. Was I a good girl at school? No, not really. These almost look like feathers, don't they? Okay, so let's bring... I've just got some water and a brush, and let's see if it smudges. Oh yes, okay, so it is water, not waterproof, okay. Which that's good to know in a way, you can get some good shading effects, but I wonder if I've got my heat gun beside me. Just 
just got back to the sh back home the last couple of days and the house is sort of was all pulled apart when we went down or well, not all pulled apart my scrap desk was because I take certain things with me so, oh no my heat guns accessible it's actually cool grey but I think I need a thinner paintbrush to actually not get goop everywhere so it's interesting to know that that is not permanent ink I'll have to look around for some document ink because that was quite cool drawing with that I wonder if we can shade the flower I thought once it dried it might be permanent but that's right nice tone of grey though so I do recommend this product if you're at a dye zone looking for a fountain pen to do stuff with stuff with I'll have to see what actually stuff I do with it um, be good for um, like sketching and then you could f uh, smudge smudge the um, like to get shadows and stuff so that would be kind of cool it's quite a thin line which is nice next time I go down or if I find the other one I've got God knows where that is um, I'm trying to have a big clean up at the moment and put all my like supplies together but I've still got quite a few boxes to go through from when I moved 12 months ago. Trying to put like supplies together so when I want to use things like I know I bought a fountain pen similar I don't know whether it's this small size but I know I've bought one before. Um, if I went back through my Daiso hauls I could probably tell you exactly when it was on my YouTube channel. It's one advantage of doing the hauls, you can sort of look back and go, oh yeah, I know I bought that, it has to be in these four walls of this house somewhere. So just adding a bit of water there. Let's get the heat gun out, sorry about the noise. about the noise if I remember I'll cut that bit out so it does smudge the lines quite a lot you can easily go back in and put your lines back in which is really cool yeah I might be having some fun with this pen so if you have a fountain pen let me know what you do with it do you sketch with it do you not have one Certainly at $2.80, this one's quite good. The nib seems really nice on it. So if you do have a fountain pen, what do you use it for? Do you use it for like writing or do you use it for journaling? I'm not really into a lot of a lot of like writing, writing, journaling. Mainly because I hate my handwriting. But then again, I suppose no one's got to read it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll start writing, writing with it. But it's nice to go back in and neaten up the lines after you've smudged. I'm assuming it'll reactivate with water. I might try that in a minute now that this is dry. I'm assuming this will just keep reactivating with water. I mean these dry bits down here, so let's try that. Because we're doing a bit of an experiment today. Am I still in frame? Ooh, that's a bit interesting. Oh no, it is still going to smudge. I thought it might have been permanent when it tries. Okay. It's actually 
you're not smudging as much the second time. Like certainly any bit of fresh stuff I put down smudging. And that's running. But this bit that I haven't put fresh stuff down, it's not really... I'm not really picking it up again after it's wet. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I'm wondering if it's... Probably putting far too much water on it. It sort of is doing it a bit, but it's not... That might be fun to play with. Bear with me, I'm just going to dry this bit again. Interesting that it didn't um, smudge again after you smudged it once. Because mm. that almost looks plain. But if I go back in here, because I've done over it once, that's where I put some new stuff. And that's certainly going darker. Interesting. I'm having too much fun here to stop. Isn't that terrible? And I outline my, outline, outline my leaves again. But it's quite nice to sketch with. It's nice and smooth. I thought it might be a bit scratchy and not like... I'm just looking at the tip. Um, like it might skip on the paper a bit when you're... But it's gliding really nicely. I don't know whether that's a smooth paper. But I'm sort of just touching the tip to the paper. And it's gliding and the ink's flowing really, really nicely. Ooh, I like my new toy. You might be seeing this in a lot of upcoming videos. This is looking a bit. So it's interesting that it activates the first time really well and then if you go over it again with the water, doesn't activate it that much. Which is sort of good to know. I wish they had other colours of inks down there. That'd be really cool. But I only saw black. So Daiso, if you're listening to my videos, not that you watch my not that anyone from Daiso watches my videos, can we please request other colour inks? That would be cool. I might even try one of their brush pens next time down there. Yeah, other colour inks would be nice. It's looking a bit ratty now, my flower. We try to do a person. Ugh, I'm not really good at doing people. I try to do a bit. Hang on. I might in frame. Move over a bit. I'm filming filming on a um old video camera. The video camera would be about nine years old. You see your eyebrows because I did them a bit sketchy. Um and it's really hard, the viewfinder, even though it flicks around so I can see it, because I'm actually filming this upside down and when I load it to YouTube I'll reverse it. And it's only got like a probably a one inch by one and a half inch square um, uh, viewer, so I can actually see whether I'm in frame. I want to swap to, and the fact that it only tapes for 45 minutes and then if I'm doing a longer video, oh that's a horrid nose, I suck at noses, I'll tell you now. Um, it can only tape for 45 minutes, then I've got to change, change, um, change, um, go and take the card out and dump it onto the computer. Which, when I'm doing longer videos, it's a bit of a pain, but it's nice to get up and have a bit of a break. Um, and it is quite loud when it shuts off, so if it shuts off, what am I going to do now? Now this is the part I get suck at, so you're going to see me sucking in a minute. <laughs> um... Do, do some hair. I might smudge the hair out too. I might bring her face down. Okay, I'm learning to do faces. You're all laughing at me. I can hear you. It's 
so you can get quite sketchy lines, which is really cool. So I can actually sketch with it. That's handy. Yeah, so I'm wanting to... I got out of what I was saying because I'm having fun doing this. And Oh, God, she's got a fat face and a skinny, skinny neck. As I said, I suck at faces. It's something I want to perfect, but this one's not bad for a quick sketch. And then I'm going to smudge out her hair, and then I'll let you go. Because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me draw a silly-looking face. And I never know how big to put their hair. I think she needs earrings. She needs to be funky. And that will fill in this gap over here. So she needs funky big earrings. Um, and she needs a funky big necklace. I want to swap to filming on my laptop, but I have to go and buy a webcam. And I also want to buy a microphone for my voiceovers, so I think I have to wait till the end of the year to my budget stretches a bit further. What am I doing? Oh, she can have like a choker on. That would look cool. So I ideally want to film on my laptop because then I can sit here and craft for a couple of hours and not worry about it. And also at the moment I have to, when I download a video, I'm talking about my videos today aren't we, download a video onto my main computer which does not have speakers and it means I cannot edit my videos because I cannot hear what I'm saying and I cannot do a voiceover on that. So I have to download it to that computer because my camera won't talk to my laptop. <sighs> So then I have to slide them onto a USB if I want to edit them. This one doesn't probably need editing. Um, and then I've got to put, if I'm going to edit the video, put it on my laptop, save it on my laptop, and I usually transfer it back to my main computer because I really don't like my laptop for doing all the other things once I upload it, all the wording, all those things. So she doesn't look that bad. She's got a huge mouth and she's got a sucky nose. Oh. Does she need some worry lines up here? She needs something on her forehead. Maybe she's old and she needs some worry lines. Okay, now I'm going to see what I can do with her hair with the water. So as you film and do things in batches, like I'll put six or eight videos onto my USB to edit, and I'll go through and edit them all while I'm watching TV. Then I'll save them all, and then I'll come back and do the voiceovers when I can find quiet minutes a few days later actually trying to get a couple of weeks ahead with both my channels and I shouldn't be doing this today I should be filming something for work oops I decided to play with my pen I did the I just did the haul and then I thought oh I want to play with that because I know if I put it away I'm probably not gonna Let's put a bit of shadowing okay I suck at shadowing as well so be still watching <laughs> good on you because I'm I watched James Burke and he does these amazing faces and things and I just suck at them. I, it's, it's probably practice. I just have to practice more. And I suppose this is not bad. I'm trying to add some shadowing so she doesn't look as horrid as she does. Probably need to find myself some smaller paintbrushes which would be cool. I'm going to do a bit of shadowing on her choker down here. And onto her neck. Well, she's not looking that bad, I suppose. I might cut her out and use her in a journal page. We'll do her worry lines. Because otherwise her forehead's just... We'll do a bit of... Oh, now it looks like she's got boogers under her nose. Sorry. <laughs> okay, maybe I will let this video do <laughs> a voiceover. <laughs> oh, God. I'm still really tired from the weekend. I got back Sunday night. It's now Wednesday. And I'm just demonstrating at a show saying the same thing every 10 minutes for three days straight for six hours a day my brain by sunday i didn't know what i was talking about i oh, seriously it was hilarious if you come and saw me demonstrating sunday because i was demonstrating my stamps and stencils and i'd pick up a stamp call it a stencil and then i'd be looking for a paint and it'd be right in front of my face and the customers thought that was hilarious and then i'd give my staff member a break for lunch and i'd go to the cash register and i'd have to serve for half an hour and i'd stare at it going I don't know what I'm doing because I was in so much of a like demonstrating so much and just my brain was in that gear and then to change it to serve customers it was oh, it was funny 
I didn't actually get a break. I worked, because I'm the business owner, I work the entire show, which the show starts at 9.30 and ends about 4.30 or ends at 4 and then by the time the public clear the venue. And my staff member gets a break because I give her a break because that's not fair if you will work that many hours without a break and usually I don't get one. So for me to eat lunch, I'm usually trying to, sh trying to eat a snack or something in between serving customers while my staff member's gone on a break. So it's it's a fun... I love doing the shows. I, I really miss doing so many of them that I used to do. But I really enjoy getting out and demonstrating and being with people. I get a bit lonely stuck at home. Um because it's sort of a bit one-sided talking to you guys, because you don't talk back. Hence why I want to do some live videos, but I just don't know how that setup's going to work. That's my goal for 2018. By probably June 2018, I want to be doing live videos, if I can. The problem I'm going to have with live videos is you guys will, like, type, and the chat comes up. And with my low vision, it's really hard for me to read computer screens or read iPhones or tablets unless they're, like, right on my nose. Well, not really on my nose, but they're quite close. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do a setup where I can see what you're typing without, like, like to glance up from when I'm crafting. So I have to work all that out. Sorry, I'm just going to dry this for a minute. this up in a minute. I'll go back and put a few more different finding lines into her. And um, it's been a bit more of a chatty video, hasn't it? So also say welcome to all my new subscribers. We're over 500 now, which is awesome. I never thought I would get to 500. I never thought that many people would want to listen to me waffle. And listen to Alexis waffle. So I'm hoping to get up on my on this channel, which is Alexis and Melinda's Art Space, I'm hoping to get up two videos that I do a week, at least process videos or tutorials. If I get a happy mail in, um, they're a bit easy to film because they're straight filming to the camera to YouTube. So you might get an extra video if I do a swap or a happy mail with incoming stuff. Um, I'm hoping to get yeah at least two process videos done a week, um, art journaling or um, scrapbooking or something, and then Alexis, I'll endeavour to edit one of Alexis's videos. So she's got a cooking one coming out this uh, might be out by this time this one goes up. I don't know when this one's going up. Um, so I've got my calendar in front of me. So she's done a cooking video. She likes to do all sorts of different videos. So she'll have one out a week. Usually on a Thursday, she's picked. And she loves to film it, but she's not so good at editing at the moment, so Mummy does all the editing. And then I endeavour to get up two videos on my website, uh, my business channel, a week. So that's five videos a week. That's a lot. Um, and I'm hoping to get a couple of weeks ahead, so I'm not stressing whether to get up videos. But for example, I, the, I did a Daiso haul video, so that's a really easy video to do because I just film it, put it on my computer and it goes straight up. It's the ones that I have to edit that take a bit longer. So you may get more than two videos a week on this channel um, and plus Alexis's. If I have incoming swap mail, they're really easy to film as well and um, I'm not doing many swaps at the moment because I'm just busy doing other stuff and like a haul video. But then again, I'm not really shopping that much either. I did go and spoil myself, and I may do a haul video. Um, for my business, I buy from an American company um, at wholesale rates. So there's a few products I wanted to pick up just for myself as a treat for after the show. Usually I take about $100 from the show and treat myself to some scrapbooking goodies from this overseas site that I buy from. So basically I'm buying um, wholesale rates from America. Um, so it makes products really reasonable. Um, that's where I've got most of my gel plates from. Um, because they're so expensive here, 
and even when you factor in the postage because I'm buying work stuff as well with the with the postage so I may show you that haul video too just a few things I've been eyeing off for my mixed media a few things I eyed off at the show oh I forgot I bought some stamps at the show oh I'll have to do another haul video um I bought some stamps that I knew I couldn't get wholesale because I'm terrible I hate paying retail for things when I know I can get them wholesale from America so I got either weight but there was some really cheap stamps I picked up uh, mainly what I won for Alexis and I had to buy four more um, and then I picked up a couple of background ones from a company an Australian company I think I'll leave that there I don't know what do you think of my face I know the proportions are all out my flowers looking a bit funky but I do like this over here I may cut that out and use it but this paper seems to be it is bowing a bit because I put water on it because it's only sketching paper but it's taking the ink really nicely and if I flip it over it's not actually going through excuse that it's not actually going through to the other side which I was wondering whether the ink would go through to the other side maybe if a big blob would thank you for watching if you're still here thank you for watching I know I have been waffling a bit in this video I don't even know how long I've been running for let me have a looky see no, nah, doesn't tell me. But I, yeah, highly recommend these pens from Daiso, these fountain pens. Um, just make sure you get the right inks because they were inks to a brush pen and inks to a fountain pen. So we just had to make sure we got the same, the same cartridge that come in here to that one, but it is that pack. So thank you for watching. And if you do use fountain pens, let me know what you mainly use them for. I'll probably just do funny little sketches with mine and different things. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.